Hello, my name is Robert Sanders. I want to talk to you about Measure 110. I'm a person in recovery that works in social services. I fear that Measure 110 would have damaged the ability for me to find recovery. I am scared for the children that will get left behind. I believe that the misinformation that has been spread and financed by the Drug Policy Alliance in New York City will have a damaging impact on our youth for a variety of reasons. First, the proposed legislation would pull $90 million out of public education and another $56 million that is currently allotted towards addiction services and repurpose them as referring agencies. We already have those. What we don't have is access to treatment beds, something that 110 fails to address. Beyond that, this measure fails to provide a process for alerting parents if their children are caught with less than a gram of heroin. I support decriminalization, but I don't believe that this provides a clear plan. The proponents of this measure like to point to an oversight committee for the lacking details, but they will only be reviewed every two years. This measure fails to address the past harm done through the judicial system and doesn't offer expungement for previous charges. I urge you to read the bill, to follow the money, and to take into account the special interest that has ignored the efforts of community leaders that are fighting for reform in our broken system. Oregon currently ranks 47th in addiction services. And while decriminalization is overdue, this bill doesn't construct a pathway to replace the one that is currently in place. Let's ensure that the cost for an out-of-state initiative isn't more lives lost. Let's ensure we provide the framework for people to find recovery. And let's not rob Peter to pay Paul by charging our education system in the process. My name is Robert Sanders, a person in recovery, and I'm urging you to vote no on Measure 110.